Here's another compound interest problem. Um, how much must you deposit in an account that pays 4.2% interest compounded monthly to have a balance of $2,000 in one year? So this problem, we don't know how much to put. We're going to figure out how much should we put in because in the end we want to have $2,000. So the compounded is our keyword that tells us to use this equation up here. So let's go ahead and figure out our variables. The A value is what is the amount in our account after so many years. We know what this is. We want this to be 2000 so now we have a number here. P is the principal amount we deposit. We actually don't know that. That's what we're trying to figure out with this problem. R is our rate as a decimal, so it's 4.2. We just bring that decimal over two spots to get 0 0.042. N is the number of compounds in a year. Compounded monthly, that's going to be 12 times in a year, so N equals 12. And T is time. How many years are we talking? We're just looking at one year. So filling this into the equation, 2,000 equals P, we're going to solve for this, times 1 plus 0 0.042 divided by 12 raised to the 12 times 1 power. So in simplifying this, we just want to go to inside the parentheses. Let's do this fraction first, um, 0 0.042 divided by 12, yep, 12, and we get 0 .0035, and then we can go ahead and just add 1 to that now, so we have 1.0035, so in our problem, 2,000 equals P times 1.0035, raised to the 12 times 1 is just 12th power, so now we want to go ahead and take care of this exponent. Let's raise that to the 12th power and see what we get. So I'm going to take that answer. Here's my exponent button. So it's taking my answer raised to the 12th power. And it equals 1.04281807. So again, the more decimals we use in our problem, the more accurate our answer will be. So 2,000, it's a light pen, equals P times that number, which was 1.04281800.7. And then to solve for P, we want to divide both sides by that long decimal. I'm not going to go ahead and rewrite it out, but I will do um, that on the calculator. We're going to take 2,000, divide it by that number I see, 1.04281800. Zero zero seven equals one nine one seven point eight eight one nine one seven point eight eight. So if we need two thousand dollars in a year and we're hoping to get some money off interest, this is how much we would have to deposit right now: one thousand nine hundred seventeen dollars and eighty-eight cents. And all the rest of that, we would end up with two thousand dollars in one year.